Fiscal year 20 at CPC was a year unlike any other. It was a year that uh, started uh, in July of 2019 with a business that was operating uh, at, at full efficiency. In fact, in February of 2020, we had raised $700 million of new capital. We were on pace to invest almost a billion dollars, which would have been a record for CPC. And then March 10th, state of emergency was declared in both uh, New York uh, and many places across the country. And CPC went, uh, like many companies did, uh, to a work from home uh, model. CPC, like any other company, any other organization in this country, was deeply affected by a pandemic and by the economic shutdown and the fallout of that pandemic. I'm incredibly proud uh, of CPC and all it has accomplished in, in fiscal year 20. One of the most significant impacts of the COVID-19 crisis has been the economic impacts on communities across New York and across uh, the country. The small building rental housing stock is the lifeblood of rental housing in communities across this country. And so one of the things that CPC did in response to this crisis was work with our partners in state government to bring a program together and bring it to market that will help small property owners. That program is called New York Forward, and CPC is proud to be a, a partner uh, with the state uh, in this program to bring rent relief to owners and to tenants. Like many organizations around the country, CPC focused inward at first in thinking about how we can do more to turn the tide on 400 years of racial uh, injustice in our country. And CPC Access was born, which is a $20 million initiative to help support uh, minority uh, entrepreneurs grow their businesses and create economic vitality for their businesses, for their families, and for the communities uh, that they work in. One of the most important things that CPC executed on in fiscal year 20 was a strategy to raise long-term debt to support our underlying operations. We were very proud uh, to go before uh, Standard & Poor's um, and receive a double A minus rating because of the strength of our balance sheet. So the rating by Standard & Poor's allowed us to go to the market and, and raise $150 million in sustainability bonds that allow us to continue to do the business that we do, but more importantly, allow us to innovate and do new things. Fiscal year 20 was also a year of successful milestones for CPC Mortgage Company. We were able to bring on new leadership of CPC Mortgage Company, and that has allowed us to take the next step and grow Mortgage Company to be the kind of capital provider uh, that our customers expect, that CPC expects, and that our community expects. While CPC did not end fiscal year 20 where we had hoped to end it, we did end it in a very strong position. The future for CPC is very bright. We see great opportunity to grow our business as a construction lender, to grow CPC Mortgage Company, to bring equity capital to bear to preserve much needed public housing and much needed affordable housing across New York. And we're excited about the future. Thank you to all of our partners, all of our borrowers, all of the communities that we work in across New York and across the country and to everybody at CPC. We have a great team of people, a great staff, a great board, and we are all thankful for your partnership and for our work together in communities across this great country.